Here we have the U cases for CMLL. A U case is when you have two corners of the color of your choosing. Right now we're doing yellow on top, facing that way, and then two facing up. Um, you'll see two cases where it's facing this way, two cases where it's facing this way, and two cases where it's facing this way. So we're going to have six total. <clears throat> the first case is the easiest case, and it's when you have the U case and you only have these two are the same color on the top here, and these two are not. So what we're going to do is when we see that, we're going to face this U to the left, okay, and do this algorithm. Okay. <clears throat> the next case is when we have the U, and these two are matching, but these two are also matching. We're going to face that also to the left and do this algorithm. And in this U case, we have these two are not matching, but these two are. You're going to keep the U facing this way, and you're going to do this algorithm. In this U case, we have the U facing up, where there's no matching here. It's a backslash, where this is here, this is here, and this is here, kind of creating a backslash. So kind of look for any one or two of those. Make sure the arrow is facing up, and do this algorithm. In this case, you're going to see that there's a forward slash here. So the opposite of the last case. <laughs> and because it's the opposite of the last case, we're going to do the exact same algorithm, but kind of inverted. So it was facing up that time. Now we're going to have the U face down and we're going to do the opposite algorithm like this. In the last case, we're going to have opposites here. Okay, when we have that, we're going to face the U down and do this algorithm. So let's get a little more in depth. For this case, the way I remember it is that I'm going to put these two matches on the left where there's no other match, and then I'm going to break that match, okay, like this. For this case, where we have two matching up here and matching down here, the way I remember this is it's kind of like the first algorithm um, where you start off by breaking it. Um, so we're going to face those two matches to the left again. And because we see these matches here, we're going to do the more hard algorithm. Th this isn't very scientific. It's just kind of little thoughts that I'm thinking of right now and that I think of during my solves. So again, we see the matching here. We point them to the left, point the U to the left, and do this algorithm where we start by breaking this. For this case, where we only have the matching on the bottom here, the way I remember it is, um, this is just a standard U, so you'd put the U on the bottom, okay? And because these two are matching, our first move is towards that, to break that. So I think when I'm doing this, I just think these are down, so the first move is down, and um, then you go from there. So for this case, we call this the backslash. 
Um, the way I think of this is we have this algorithm and the next algorithm where they're, they're inverse of each other, but this is called the backslash. So our first move will be back or towards you. Um, just an, an R2 towards you. Um, so I think when I'm in this case, I'm like, okay, it's a slash. Which one is it? It's a backslash. So for my first, so my first move is back. So for this, I do this. <clears throat> so now this is the forward slash case. See that? Um, so what you'll do here is make sure the U is pacing down because it's the opposite of the last case. Um, and you can still see the, the forward slash, no matter if it's here or here, right? Because it's a slash. Um, so depending on how you see this, just look for this slash. And because it's the forward slash, our first move is going to be an R2 forward or away. So in this case, I do this. So this is the last case, um, and this is the case where these two are opposite and these two are opposite. Um, and what you would do is you start out with the upside down U, and the way you can kind of think of starting this out is your first movement will be this. And what you're doing is you're matching this one with this one. So you're putting them together. So then you do this, and I like to think of this as a swish, kind of a swish and flick. But that's the that's the first kind of you're you're matching these, and it's a swish and flick. And this one's pretty easy to remember because after the swish and flick, you're bringing this down, you're flicking again, you're bringing this up, you're pulling towards you, you're bringing this down, you're pulling towards you, and then you're bringing it back up again.